was uh, offensively for you? What was going right for you tonight to, to be able to have that kind of production? I mean, uh, I think just being aggressive, just being in those spots. Um, we, got, we have guys like TJ and Marcus um, and Justin. They're so good at getting downhill. Um, they're going to cause two and me just finding that spot and, and being able to go up and finish or get fouled. You've seen a five on you, like literally, I'm pretty much almost every game since mm -hmm. Purdue. Like, how's that comfort continue to build game over game when you have just more reps mm -hmm. there? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's, it's been a lot easier and more comfortable for me just um, being able to rep it out in practice and um, really just just having confidence and still being aggressive and, and having my same um, ability to do what I do. When you're being guarded like that, do you find it easier maybe to get to the rim for offense or mm -hmm. rebounds because maybe there's not that guy right there to box you out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and I feel like um, I'm not as tired because I'm not doing all this other stuff. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's a it's a lot easier. Like I said, when TJ and Marcus draw that double team and my man leaves, um, if they shoot that ball, it's you know it's just me. So um, I think it's a lot easier for me to go and, and be able to be aggressive on the offensive glass. What's changed with Terrence to get back to where he was at before the timeout? Oh yeah, I mean, we, we all know it's gonna come back to him. It's just um, time away from the game, and it happens. It's, I mean, it, it happens to everybody. You know, just being away from the game, you got to get that rhythm back and and that feel and. Um, I think I think we did a good job of just getting him back into that, and um, and we've seen him late hit some big shots. So um, I think he's he's coming into a good. Is there something you've noticed from him that's different, like to allow him to get to where he was at tonight? Um, no, I mean, I think even when he struggled, the the, the game said he did. Um, he knew it was going to come back to him, and I um, mean, our thing as a team was just keeping him up and keeping his head up and and not letting him get down on himself. Because I mean, we all know what he can do. What was your guys' role on the floor, knowing like? This guy who has the ball a lot, he's a high usage guy. Like, how do you guys go about helping him seamlessly kind of incorporate back in there? Yeah, I mean, I think it goes to show um, how egoless this team is. Um, and everybody's playing from one common goal. And, and at the end of the day, that's, that's what it's all about. Um, so when everybody knows that we're just trying to win the game, um, it helps a lot because then you don't have guys jealous or anything like that. And we don't have those problems. So um, I think just the maturity of this team is, is pretty easy. What's the sign for you that Terrence is kind of back in his zone? Anything he does that you're like, okay, he's he's who he was? When he's getting downhill effortlessly, um, you know, sometimes he could be out of control. And when he's controlling himself and he's he's not hesitating taking those shots, I mean, you guys seen him take a couple of those threes. He just let him go. And um, I think that's one of the signs to me that, like, he's, he's back and he's coming back. So, uh, yeah. You guys are halfway through the Big Ten schedule now. Mm -hmm. And you've won without Terrence. You've won with him. Obviously, you guys are better with him, but like, what have you shown without him and then with him that you guys can win some virtual ways? Yeah, I mean, I think I think it goes to show how deep we are and, and how connected as a group we are. I mean, um, we have a lot of guys that can go out and score 20 each night, um, but I think the other roles, like Quincy averaging nine rebounds and him having games where he has 13 rebounds and Justin coming in and having those 20-point games here and there and, and just things like that, just everybody stepping up when it's their time. We to get... You know, Big Ten Roto and at the end of a nine-game bump for you guys have just kind of had it mm -hmm. for three weeks essentially. Just, what, what does that mean for you guys? I mean, I think it goes to show the maturity of this team. Uh, we knew this was a huge game for us. Um, just like you said, we've had we've been having two-day preps and um, just being staying mentally locked in and, and when we're at practice, uh, physically and mentally being there. Um, now we got two days off, so uh, I mean, we got through it, and and I'm happy that we ended this with a, with a dub. Are you gonna know what to do with yourself for two days off? Man, <laughs> we're gonna recover, recover, recover. But uh, no, I'm not. We're not gonna know what to do with ourselves. We haven't had a day off, and and I don't remember when. So uh, it's it's cool. What led you guys to have so much transition success tonight, especially with Terrence just kind of looking like mm. the old self again? Um, I think our our guards did a great job of rebounding, and um and when our guards get a great do a great job of rebounding, we can get it out to them. Um, I think when we when we get a rebound, we know where he's going to be at. We know he's running, um, and it allowed Coleman to run also. So when when Coleman um, gets a rebound, um, he he's trying to get it to a guard. But when we get the rebound, he can just run. Um, and I think just just the guards rebounding is, is helping us tremendously in transition because we get a, get the ball out faster. Right, that final four of the first half, Coleman, TJ, Dane all have two fouls, and Amani and Dre come in and. You guys really hold your own and score. Like, what did you see from from that unit and that group and that end stretch to take that lead? Uh, I think just major props to the young guys and Dane. Obviously, I mean, um, I think it's huge for Dane. Um, just him being ready when his number call. You know, he could be pouting, he could be doing all that stuff, but he's not. Um, he's remained humble. He's he's keep working. Uh, he's probably one of the hardest workers I know. Um, so we're all happy to see him come in and, and give us that big run. 
Um, and Dre came in with a lot of intensity. Amani came in and got an and one. I um, mean, those young guys, you know, they they stay in the gym and, and they're always working and, and they're ready for when their time comes. So um, it just shows the maturity of this team. Again, I keep saying it um, and how deep we are. I mean, along those lines, I said, go ahead. Along those lines, like kind of for you the last couple of games, some inconsistent minutes in the second half. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you kind of stay ready and locked into to end up turning a performance like this? Yeah, I, I know. I know Coach knows what's best for the team, and um, I trust in him and I believe in him. And, and whatever he wants me to do, I'm gonna do. So, um, if if he sees a lineup that's working better with me on the bench, then I'm happy. And um, as long as we're getting a win, so um, I trust in Coach. I believe in Coach, and and I'm a ride with him. So. Yeah. 10 big team games left. Do you think they're going to start defending you different, or do you hope that they just, these teams keep kind of doing what they've been doing? I mean, I love it. Keep doing it. I mean, when Marcus and Terrence um, set, get out, come off that screen, um, I think it creates a lot of other opportunities for our team. So um, if that's what they want to scheme and do, I mean, we love it. We, we're going to invite it. So.